Hey, great. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining me here today. <clears throat> I believe from my years of being in uh, software development IT that the road to a good DevOps transformation starts with the humans, and uh, I've done a lot of speaking on that particularly. You know, it really is about winning, and if you're going to win in a DevOps transformation, these humans have to come together, whether they're software developers, whether they're operations, whether they're interested in security, whatever it is they're trying to do, it's really about how the humans transform. And the interesting part is we can't no longer be a certain way. We, you know, the DevOps winners, they have to change culture too. And, and culture is a bunch of things. So I come from the IT space. Uh, way back in the 80s, where I learned about Celine thinking, systems thinking, and manufacturing, I ran IT for an uh, aerospace manufacturer. And back then, I really was Nick Burns, right? You can't have access to that. You can't do this, right? I really was that guy that said, okay, move it. Help, let me fix your computer. It can't be that anyway anymore. We have to come together uh, and change that culture. And an interesting story I have to support this is, a few years ago, my wife came home, and by the way, it's not my wife, but my wife came home and she's a business analyst. And I said, how did your day go? And she gave me this whole story about how the DevOps engineer uh, gave her a whole hard time about grooming the backlog wrong or doing all those things and trying to enforce process. And us operations people, myself included, tend to lean that way where it has to become more of an enablement, where everybody's figuring out how to work together. And the research I've done and seen through the company here and other companies is that DevOps winners do things differently. DevOps winners tend to put one common goal together. They tend to work together to understand how can we you know, deliver with more um, productivity? How can we become more predictable? How can we work together to all uh, make a transformation, not just in DevOps, but from Agile and so on. DevOps winners do a couple interesting things I've learned through the years. The human side of DevOps, they try to remove that hero, right? I was him, that, by the way, back in my days in IT. I was that hero that knew all about all kinds of things, and I became the bottleneck in all kinds of ways. And, and as that hero in IT and in operations, I was the guy that was up all night too, but they try, to, they try to eliminate those roadblocks, share knowledge, make sure that people can work together. And I found that a lot of the DevOps transformations and the, the winners of DevOps are doing these types of things. DevOps winners look at metrics. So they follow these lean metrics types of stuff where I look for continual improvement uh, in software delivery, how I move uh, code to production. They look at flow metrics, door metrics. They use these metrics to be better at what they're doing. Uh, and they use all kinds of different metrics to achieve their goals as well. DevOps winners look to improve the systems. So the ones I've worked with, they look at how do I use lean principles? How do I use systems thinking to improve how software moves through? How do I make sure that I'm looking for the right parts in the system to make sure things are moving so that I do get the right level of security? How do I make sure I'm putting in feedback loops through my system in order to align to the software needs and make sure that we're accelerating with our DevOps feedback loops. Those are really important uh, feedback loops within your system. DevOps winners also to pick tools last. Now, what do I mean by that? They're gonna go look at all the things. They're gonna measure the system. They're going to use systems thinking. They're, they're going to make sure that they're collaborative. And they're going to go look at tools after they've figured out how to fix the system. And by that, they'll have to see, measure, and automate. And the tools is the last part. I can see my value stream, my DevOps stream. I can, I can start to measure that. And then I can use tools to automate. So my last slide, it's simply this. DevOps winners start with the humans. All of us work together to drive code into productions faster, to deliver what our customers need. And if we don't have the humans all working together and collaborating, we're only going to get that age-old resistance between 
I want to be secure and I want to deploy fast. So thank you very much.